here what's going on everybody man after all the cutscenes, all the bull crap all the nonsense we have finally made it to the nba playoffs now we are the seventh seed we are going up against the second seed golden state warriors i am playing on hall of fame so just expect me to get killed all game long but check out steve kirk <laughs> I want to let you guys know that me and Steph Curry are going to be going at it this game. I'm not going to hold anything back. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win, as well as I know him and his Hall of Fame cheese will as well. But uh, let's hop into this game. I hope you guys are ready. It's about to go down. Let's get into it, y'all. Oh, God. All right, so this game started off like any other Hall of Fame game. I hit my free throws, then the Golden State Warriors came back down and scored so fast and made my head spin. But check this out, we going to take a play out of their playbook, hit my man Monte Ellis for the three, and bang, bang. He knocks it down. Now check this out, if Monte hits the shots all game, we might be able to win this. Now on defense, I wanted to show you guys how it really gets down when you guard a crazy point guard like Steph Curry. He sizes me up a few times, pulls in my face, and nails the shot with ease. I mean, he didn't even sweat. I didn't even get nothing on my hand when I touched his face. That's how dry his skin was. But check it out, he goes in for the nice little layup. Every time I try to shoot in for defense, it seems like Steph Curry is one step ahead of me, man, every single time. But I got a couple tricks in my playbook as I get the hesitation and left hand layup to go. We just gonna go back and forth all game long. I'm the type of person that says, look, if he goes at me, I'm gonna go at him. Now, you guys noticed that that was supposed to be a fast break play, right? But nobody ran, so I stayed behind. I pulled a three and I nailed it. It's cash, it's easy, and now we're in the lead at two. But I know what you guys are thinking. IKC didn't cut the gameplay. That means Steph Curry about to come down like a fire under their ass. Well, we got a little plan set up for this guy right here. He calls the pick and roll, but my team is already ready for that nonsense. We get the cookies, we out on the break, change the direction, hit him with the bounce pass, and boom! That should have been an and one. I don't care what nobody says. Clay Thompson hit my man all up in his face. Look at him. He slapped me right across his face. But that's none of my business, though. But check it out. I'm trying to put the lock and key on my man, Steph Curry. Yo, I don't know what it is about this dude, but he can get past any defender so easily. I might have to change my dribble moves to his because it's so easy how he sways through the defense and does what he does. But check it out. They leaving me open once again. Pulls up for the deuce, perfect release, and it's cash. Let's go. Now, I'm about to get subbed out. I play almost the entire first quarter. They subbed me out with 14.5 seconds left in the first quarter. That is crazy. Now, my mission in the second quarter was to stop Steph Curry from getting to the rack. Now, this is probably one of the hardest things to do since he has so many pick and roll calls being called for him, as well as him being able to cut to the basket while I'm holding him. I was literally holding him for a split second, took my eye off of him, and he went to the basket. He has 17 points. He is torching me right now. But I'm trying to put the moves on with the little behind the back. Kick it off to Chandler. We're starting to move the ball, but I get ignored. So, you know, I'm just going to play my role. I call the nice little pick for my man Chandler Parsons, and booyah! He posters Bogut easily. I mean, it's so good to have him in this game, man. If that was Aminu, he would have went up for a weird layup and all this nonsense. But it's all good. Now, it's 40-39. to Calling the quick isolation play, saying if I could get past Steph Curry. Now, all the little moves that I put on him, I just want to let you guys know, don't try. It's a waste of time. I did all this bull crap and still wasn't able to get past him. Now, I'm trying to call a nice little pick and roll with my man, Dirk. Get past the defense, pass it off to Chandler, and Chandler finally hits one of those weird little layups. Finally, that's all I would need it from him. Now we have a three-point lead. I'm still trying to put the lock and key on my man Steph Curry. It is so hard to put the lock and key on this man. Now Harrison Barnes kicks it back to Steph Curry. You already know what type of time I'm on. Lock and key, baby. Lock and key. I get the cookies. You already know what time it is. Going to the basket. Ah! You see me with the new dunk package? Hanging on that room for a little bit, saying, what's up to the backboard? What it be like? Now, get past the defense. Kick it off to my man, Dirk. He loses the pass. I don't even know what happened there, but my man, Harrison Barnes, comes down. It's a nice little flush. He doesn't deserve a replay. I don't even care if we're in Golden State. That's, that's like bound to happen on a fast break. But what I want to show you guys is what will happen in half-court offense. Call a nice little cheesy pick and roll. Get around the defense there. Booyah! 
You know what I'm saying? Put my balls all in that man's chest. You hear me? Ah! Look at that, look at that. Ah! What's up with you? <laughs> now, David Lee, I don't know how he missed that shot. It was point blank. It was a nice little defense right there. Now, I was about to kick it to my man Monte Ellis, but I didn't. I decided to try to go to Dirk, get my cookies taken, and look at Steph Curry thinking he could rise over me. You see this bull crap? Now, last play of the second quarter. I missed the rebound, but it's all good. My man Jameer Nelson is going to give me the last shot. Hit him with a behind the back, take the contact, and it should have been an and one, even though I hit the layup at the buzzer. That's bull crap right there. Man, let's get into the third quarter, man. So, I started the third quarter, but nothing spectacular happened until right here. My man Andre Iguodala played both of us for a fiddle right there with the nice little runner. Now, I was kind of mad. I'm like, yo, I can't believe he just hit that shot. I'm trying to play defense. Monte's not. So, I'm trying to hit Steph Curry with the moves, figuring out that I need to go with the pick and roll route. Didn't want to hit my man Chandler. I'm thinking about it. You guys see me thinking, so I just back up, try to reset. Now, I'm going to try to call another pick and roll, see if I can get to the rack. Now, Tyson Chandler was wide open on that play, so I decided to hit him the second time. Sometimes you can't go with your first instinct on these pick and roll plays because the defense just sits there and waits for you. Now, I could have got those cookies right there, but it didn't work that way. And Steph Curry nails that mid-range jumper on me. He's been doing that all game. Like, all it takes is a little crossover, a little, you know, overshoot for me on defense, and he's able to do what he wants. Now, it's 61-59. to 59. I'm trying to keep us in the lead. Now, I hit him with the behind the back. I think that I made him fall. I don't care if it didn't say ankle breaker or not. I think I made Steph Curry fall right there. But check it out, man. I get subbed out with 6 minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. Now, they're telling me that I got too many turnovers. But Steph Curry got just as many turnovers as me. Coming down to the last possession of the third quarter, they finally subbed me back in. And I just wanted to let you guys know that the bull crap that happens in 2K is ridiculous. Check it out as my man misses the shot, but the rebound was so easily rebounded by David Lee. Now, we got 3.3 seconds left on the clock. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's time to turn up. Watch what happens here. Automatically get the ball behind the back, straight to the basket, and I get the foul. No and one. But just to let you guys know, I only made one of those free throws. So, uh, yeah, I didn't want to put them in the video. Now, uh, check it out. I got uh, Sean Livingston. He's able to cut to the basket, but they don't trust him on the pass. Now, I don't know what I was doing right there, but luckily, Sean Livingston is who he is, so he misses from point blank range. But Klay Thompson hits the three. It's all good, man. But check this out it's 83 83. The seesaw is here. Andre Iguodala decides, you know what? I'm going to pass it off to my man. He passes it back. Then Sean Livingston cuts, doesn't get the ball. They give it to Klay Thompson for the mid-range jump shot, and he nails it over all that defense. Nobody decided to jump right there, but it's all good. Now, Andre Iguodala puts him up by two. He missed the first one, but I'm going to come down and see if we can put some more points on the board. I give it to my man Chandler Parsons, and he gets the layup. I don't know why he didn't dunk it, but... It's all good. Now it is 88-88 with about 740 left. Now Steph Curry finally misses a shot from mid-range. He's been making them mostly all game. I get past all of the defense there without even doing any crossovers, any behind the backs. That's just pure speed. Look at that. Running the full length of the floor, changing direction right around everybody. Bogut ain't know what was going on. You seen him shot fulling, shot fulling. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there. But it's 90 to 88. The reason why I didn't cut the gameplay because the seesaw is real. My man Steph Curry just makes it look so easy. Look at this layup here. Like, if he would have made that, I probably would have rage quit. But since he didn't make it, I am going to show this clip right here. Me putting on a little bit of moves right here. Let me get Clay on a little isolation. Got him with the pick and roll. Going the other way. Right around the defense. And boom! Hold up. First of all, first of all, first of all. That right there was my first posterizer ever. Y'all better get hyped. That's my first poster ever. Only great things happen in the playoffs, guys. Now, we are up to, but Steph Curry is on the court. They pass it off to him. I try to put the lock and key. He does a spin moves that goes through me. I don't know what that was, but David Lee did an even cheesier play there by grabbing the rebound, putting it back for a dunk. He only has eight points. And just to let you guys know, he scored all eight of those points, I think, in, like, the fourth quarter. Like, it's, it's insane how his AI just got a crazy boost. But I come down, get a nice little dunk. I'm not worried about that dunk. 
I'm worried about this darn seesaw, man. We're back at it. Steph Curry from the mid range. Oh, God. I'm getting towards this game. Like, y'all think I'm playing? Steph Curry has 36 points. 18 of them are mid range shots. Like, do you guys think I'm lying right now? I would never lie to you guys. Steph Curry is putting on a beating. But check out the plays that I'm putting on. That's how you drop dimes out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all see the play? I don't even think I looked on that play. But we're moving the ball around. Things are looking good. Trying to get another pick and roll play. They call the double team. Parson says, no, I don't want to shoot the three. I want to give it to Dirk. And Dirk answers right there with a deuce of his own. We're up three. Things are looking good. Dirk is nine from nine from the field. What? My man Dirk is out here putting on his show. I didn't even know. <laughs> but Klay Thompson gets a nice little screen. He passes it off to my man Steph Curry. Now, you see me trying to put the lock and key on him. I don't want him to get past me. I don't want him to score. But with that right there comes the Klay Thompson show. But he misses, and Bogey gets the foul. Uh, those type of things piss me off a little bit. But check it out. You, you see these little isolation plays. You know where I'm going with the pick and roll. Get around the defense, and hoo My man didn't even want to jump. He knew what time it is. He didn't want to jump. But we all, we have about a minute left in this game. They're down three. But the craziest things happen when the team is down three. And, yes, the mid-range shot goes again. Yo, when I look at Steph Curry's game, he plays almost the exact same game as me. A lot of pick and rolls. A lot of crazy dribbling to get past your defenders. So, I'm going to call a pick and roll on my own. I get past the defense and post through another person. Who was that? Somebody tell me who that was. Was that Clay Clay? Was that Clay Clay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But check it out. They're down three. I'm not cutting out no gameplay. Y'all gotta see the the drugs that I get served, yo. Steph Curry passes to my man David Lee, and he gets the up and under. So easy, so cheesy. I was like, what? Crazy. So I gotta come back down with a little bit of cheese on my own. Hesitation behind the back, straight at the rack, left hand layup, they can't stop it. We're back up three. We're back up three. But guess what? It ain't over. The show is not over. The Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors show is not over. Check out my man Steph Curry, trying to put the moves on. I'm behind him, so you already know what that means. I'm already out of the play. Pulls up for a mid-range jump shot, and I foul him. I don't know how I fouled him, but I foul him. This is freaking insane. So, we're back up three, 14 seconds left. Now, you got to stop Steph Curry from the three, and he, luckily he misses the shot, but David Lee does get the rebound, and he gets the put back. I was kind of pissed off about that, but ain't nothing you can really do besides get fouled and make sure that you nail these free throws. Now, of course, with a person like me, I'm going to nail my free throws. You best believe that. You best believe that. Now, of course, we're not in Dallas. They're not calling out any MVPs. They're just making a whole bunch of sound. They got the fat heads in the background just trying to make sure that I miss. Now, me, I'm taking all the time in the world, giving them the little dribble, the little shoulder shrug, and I get the first one to go slightly early. Now, of course, I get my little 3VC right there. Pretty hype about that. I got 43, 4, and 13. I'm shooting 70%. 72%, I'm sorry, from the free throw line. But we're going to raise that as I put the nail in the coffin. Now, of course, it's not a nail in the coffin. But I do say that it is because they took Steph Curry out from being fouled out. Now, I was so happy that we won this game. Anything could happen in the playoffs, especially with a team like ours. Now, we only won by three, so you know what that means. We're going to get bombed <laughs> next game. I'll be right back, guys. You put on what was simply an incredible fourth period. How were you able to take over this game in the end? Yo, doors. You know I'm always able to take over. Come on. Sometimes I even have to wait around and lay low for a few quarters. Just so things are a little more dramatic in the fourth, you feel me? Yo, I know drama, and I like to keep it fun for the fans. That's just me, baby. It was a pleasure for us to watch. Thank you so much. Kevin, back to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Hit me up on Twitter sometime, at Carter. Just wanted to show you guys your little Hall of Fame verification. So many people have been asking for it, man. So I've just been putting it in the recent videos. Didn't know that you guys wanted it. 
Now, uh, anybody see that, you know, it says an NBA logo right there for the 115? They know they could have put the Dallas Mavericks logo up there. But, uh, yeah, man, difficulty modifier 2 point. Oh. But this is IKC signing out. Like I said before, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I can't wait till y'all see this one next. <laughs> I, I promise y'all. Peace. Yeah.